Hello and welcome to Reinfused. Today, I don't realize you can see my face, that normally means I do a TV or a toy. Not today. We're actually going to look at a bit of software, but it's kind of, uh, it's interesting enough that um, you get to see my face for a bit. Uh, so, basically, there's obviously uh, specialized software for many different markets. That includes writing screenplays. And, I mean, the one nowadays, probably the biggest one nowadays, is, is Final Draft. That's certainly what I use to write my award-winning scripts. Well, okay, if I make a script that wins an award, it will be written using Final Draft, so that still counts. But Final Draft wasn't the first bit of software out there. Obviously, there's quite a few before that. But what I didn't realize until I got a, uh, a huge lot of uh, Sinclair software is that the screenwriting software existed like back in the 8-bit era. And so this is what I got <laughs> on one of my uh, boxes of software. So this is a, a, well, a bit of software called Screenplay. And this is for the 48K Spectrum. And... Uh, yeah, it comes with a, a small kind of book that explains right how to write screenplays. It's yeah, it's interesting. Uh, subtitle: The uh, The Professional Touch. So I don't know if there were a, a series of software for this uh, in in this professional touch uh, set. I will probably look that up. But yeah, it's um. So the blurb on the back. Have you ever wanted to shoot your own films or make a TV program? Screenplay provides a unique opportunity to try your hand. The book, discover the inside story of authentic TV and film production techniques, find out the tricks of the trade and how they work. Easy use software, create and animate your own movie characters, invent dialogue, design scenery, add sound effects, compose a soundtrack, put all of your takes together to make an exciting program, just like the professionals. Now... <laughs> Um, I mean, this is designed for the 48K Spectrum, so there's a few things on there that I think are probably going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, and in fact, there's a bonus bit here. Uh, if you have a video recorder, use it to save the day shooting, build up a full net program, and impress your friends with viewing. I'm guessing that just means record what you're doing and has nothing to do with the Spectrum, because <laughs> without some extra hardware, the Spectrum could not take in video. Right, well, let's have a little look at what's inside. There are just two things, one of them fairly important, which is the... Uh, Spectrum software on the tape. We're going to load this trial, at least try to load it from the actual tape as well. Uh, and then we have the book. Now the book isn't particularly thick, but uh, yeah, it's got. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, it explains how how film works. Mm -hmm. There we are. <laughs> uh, how cameras work. Uh, lots of film tricks like uh, how to do dissolves and things like that, and wipes. Uh, oh, how TV works. So it's a very technical book. Well, it's done in a very simple way. Uh, lots of TV tricks, similar to the film ones, obviously. Oh, and a whole section on how chroma keying works, which I mean, back in the day was a very complex process. Nowadays, obviously, any, almost any bit of software you can download can do that. Uh, and then, yeah, a whole the rest of the section is on how to uh, make a film or TV program. And some bits on animation. And then finally, the last, very last section is actually the instruction manual for the software. So it's for a small book. It's got quite a lot in it and uh, quite some interesting stuff as well. But let's get the software loaded and see if we can actually, uh, well, first of all, actually load it from tape. Who knows? And uh, just see if we can have a look around it. Yeah, it loaded. Only two attempts. That's not too bad. Well, and some half attempts in between. Uh, do you want to copy this program to Microdrive? No. No, that will never be a yes. <laughs> oh, I hit M. Never mind. 
<laughs> okay, so right, yeah, this is as it says the main menu. How do we control this? Maybe I should read the instructions. I'm supposed to have a mouse or something, can't we? <laughs> Let's take a brief look at the instructions. Okay, so basically to choose what to to select, I have to hold down symbol shift and W. There we go. I see it's, it's vaguely, you can just see it's slightly lighter than the others. That's a very strange key combination, but fine. So let's look at these uh, at these icons. So load, if it's obvious, loading it, I guess, from tape, saving it back to tape. Now I'm guessing this is actually writing the script. Yeah, so let's go into the script department, which is a program called WordShot. Okay. Uh, the next one is, that's the music department, a program called Soundtrack. Then uh, animation department, that's action. The scenery department, which is screenshots. And finally, the editing and production department, which is take one. Now, <laughs> these are all on here with one load on a 48K Spectrum, which it must be because the tape, you might have heard it click off a bit earlier. So that was the whole tape that, to load this part. Well, let's, uh, let's go into this, try word shot. Oh, how do we actually... I assumed return would get, take us in there, but I think I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, oh, shift and Q will take the other way. To choose, I'll just press symbol shift and E. Interesting. There we go. Right, so this is the editing software. This is word shot. Right, so let's see these icons then. Um, choose the direction for your writing. Okay. I've got no idea what that means. I guess we'll find out later. Uh, the next one is to change the color of the ink you're writing. Then it's to change the color of the paper. Uh, change the size of the letters from small to double sized. Uh, clear the screen. And then... All right, well... Oh, okay, so the, the in thing changes depending on, on, on what you want to do and it can load and save and exit out and all sorts of things and then the normal is either normal or italics so I'm guessing this has got no kind of built-in step system so like final draft and stuff you can just say what you're doing like if you're doing an action and it will put it in the right place and it will format it correctly I'm assuming this doesn't have it uh, yeah, no, the uh, the direction box, the first one, literally chooses the direction it goes in, the text. That's very odd. Uh, okay, well, let's just give it a try. Um, so, interior. Yeah, the I'm doing this on the 128k um, spectrum, so the uh, the toast rack, as it's affectionately called, and the keyboard is not the greatest. <laughs> but the fact it loaded, because I was a bit worried, obviously, um, the 128k is not entirely compatible with the spectrum 48k spectrum, so some software doesn't run. But this uh, this seems to be going fine. Oh, you might be able to hear a fan in the background, by the way. It is uh, currently... We're currently going for a, uh, a heat wave in England, and if the fan wasn't on, I would die. So, yeah. Right, so there's no special formatting. It's literally just a kind of... Uh, it's just a text editor. <laughs> I'm still fairly impressed it exists. Right, so let's go here. There we go. So that's Back, back out now so we can do this to get out there we go so now if we go into the next one so yeah this is the soundtrack so that's supposed to be a microphone I thought it was a tree 
that's fine. <laughs> so, oh, no, no, we don't do that. Uh, okay, well, this doesn't seem to work. <laughs> I don't know. Right, so this chooses the time scale, so we will, let's do free fall. And uh, high notes. Is that high? Oh, there you go. Right. So, do you literally create music? Has crashed. <laughs> May have crashed. All oh, right, I see it now. Okay, so we're setting the. So yeah, we want that to be an E. There we go. So we just set the notes we want, so fine. Let's do a load of C's. A couple of D's. And then let's stick in some F's and a few C's. Right, so how do I exit that? There we go, that's done. <laughs> So, this should play the music. Perfect. That's exactly what I was aiming for. That's great. Right, so now we can exit that. And we'll go on to the next one, which is action. So, so this is where we create our characters. So this first icon, uh, create a single grid character or prop. Uh, the next one's a two grid animated character. And the third one allows us to set a border. So, well, let's see what this is. All right. Unfortunately, because it's not been written for the uh, 1 to 8K spectrum or the plus, it doesn't understand the cursor keys. Oh, okay, so it's using a joystick. So a joystick would work then, fair enough. So... Oh, I see, so we pushing fire makes it basically draw and then We push far again, it stops drawing. Right, there we are. <laughs> so there's our character. And we can do things like... How do we exit that? Right, there we go, we're out. So if we do that... No, we want that. Uh, right, so an animated character then. So let's just do something very simple, obviously. Oh, 
Oh, I wish I plugged the joystick in now. Didn't realize I would, I'd need it. Oh. Okay, so to move to the next grid. Move to the next grid. Oh, I see. So this will help me copy. So if I oh, did not mean to do that, never mind. <laughs> if I do this, oh, okay, that's not what I expected to do. Yeah, no, I did not expect that to do, to do that. <laughs> oh, okay, so we need this one. There we go, so now we're on the other grid. <sighs> so if we... Let's do the same thing, but further down. Oh yeah, so that's our animated character. So let's go to the next thing which is the scenery. So let's just do a s we'll just very quickly do a rectangle. Oh blimey, that's was more impressive than I thought it was gonna be. There we go. <laughs> that's our scenery. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> right, so, uh, and then finally... <laughs> Let's do this. Right, so what are these icons? So... The first one has got multiple things, and it just says, see opposite for details when you make your choices. With the next thing opposite it saying, see opposite. So, yeah. <laughs> the next is to erase frames. Uh, next, take your next frame, take your previous frame, premiere your production, and finally exit. Right, so I'm guessing this lets us choose right. So that's two frames, so uh, let's just play that. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming if we'd have saved our, the bits that we created, we would have been able to use those. So, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, that was screenplay. Um, it's an interesting bit of software. It's quite full-featured, really, when you think about it. It's, it was designed for a 48K Spectrum when it's on a tape. 
Um, yeah, it's an interesting bit of software. It's actually all right. It's it's surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, not bad. If you find it, it's certainly an interesting thing to own for the single spectrum. I don't know if it came out on any other platforms. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, excellent. I quite like that. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you really enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.